looking further down Kagura Kaza Dori looking further down Kagura Sawa Dori and I'm looking for some side streets here's some English Honda Jo Kocho and they should be off to the left relative to the orientation of the uh, shrine which I was just at which is there smoking on the street is prohibited so we will begin wandering these back streets now these will not be the funky ancient old tattered but very nostalgic Chinese back streets or any of the rest of Asia but they will be that of Tokyo here again notice the beauty in this device that gets you up just two or three inch step off the curb off the pavement onto a slight curb here are the rubber ones I was talking about but this attention to detail is is lovely notice the narrowness of the buildings and I'm guessing that what we'll see here is a super concentration of neat little shops that both intrigue the Japanese and more likely what may be an onslaught of Western tourists. But if I were going to live in a city like this, it is on such a street that I think I would like to live, where the infrastructure is mind-bogglingly good, variety awesome, and there still is quaintness, uniqueness, and a comfortable feel. A quaint little business structure that almost looks as though it were dropped in there whole. And in a moment you'll figure out what the name means. Yes, garlic. And some garlic whimsy to entertain. Again, notice the simplicity. Here is the map that I'm trying to follow. There is the shrine I think we were at, Zenkokuji. And I came from the left where you see that half arrow in Kagurazaka Metro M. So I will explore this area. A simple, pretty little entryway for what I have no idea. An American? British? Illusion? Where did that pole come from? It appears that the code if not just the tradition of tall buildings as you put a fire stairway, escape if you will, on the exterior of the building. It's and is where I started. And I think there's a pretty little alleyway here I'm going to pursue. Unless I get kicked out, which is very unlikely in Japan. They're far too polite. Notice the European paving, if you will. Some pretty little flowers outside this home, tucked in this alley in this very intense business area. I assume this is the entrance to a home in a simple little setting. This looks like an elegant pizzeria. pretty garden. See, I think many homes that we see tucked away have such little refuges, if you will. But imagine if you lived in one of these little places and you had a backyard sufficient to have this pretty little garden. How hard could that be to spend time in, to feel like you were somehow able to escape the cacophony around you. This is a metal tree. Whether those are little lights, I think they are. And they're perhaps the sign of the business. Here what looks to be the entrance to several little homes clustered right at this little corner and maybe it's the end of this little pathway. <laughs> Busy restaurant. 
umbrella in, you put one of these long plastic things over it to keep the water from getting out of the way. So I thought this dish I ordered from the um, placard outside, a photo on it, and it's some kind of meat, probably pork, but maybe beef, um, and vegetables. It seems like a cabbage of some sort. And a lovely sauce, rich sauce. And then I ordered some uh, what I call Chinese dumplings, and they're very good, very filled with um, with filling and filled with meat. And here they just use soy sauce. When it comes to toilets, this is in our hostel. I think the standard of living in Japan is much higher than the United States. <clears throat> here is an electronic toilet for all intents and purposes. That wire there heats up the seat. And you control all of this, plus more that I can't understand. And this kind of defines it right here. So you've got a bidet, a butt cleaner, two of them. Apparently you can adjust the heat, and there's the stop-start, and then you can do other things over here. You can see there's quite a bit of other things over here that I don't understand. This is my third traveling day, fourth day in Japan. I'm at the Bakaruko, Ruko, Rucho. On the train has such a volume with probably 30 or more cars on it and it's going so fast in such a contained space that it actually creates a, tr a wind enough to blow my hat off. I have to hold it on. I'll see if I can show you when it comes through, particularly if the train isn't planning on slowing down like the last. This one's slowing down because I think it's my train. Okay, I'm now in the process of trying to correct what I did earlier. I thought that I could take the train to down here to some place and pick up, uh, get over here to this line here so I can get to Kamachia, but found out ended up going straight through to Shimbasi because it doesn't stop at that one station. So now I'm going back up to Ginza, then I'll go back over on a separate line and then come back on, on that one. So the problem was I thought the train coming from the upper right to lower left, it would go through Tokyo Station, which it did, which then stop at Urakaku. I see no reason graphically why it shouldn't have stopped there. It looks like the same kind of signage as you'll see down here at Shimbasi, but it didn't stop there, it went to Shimbasi directly. So, that's how I, why I had to correct. What I love when I come out of a subway station is subtle hints as to where I'm trying to get, and that's where I'm going. No Starbucks. Down. When I was walking down the walkways, uh, the yeah, corridors on the Ginza station, I realized that I had a benefit that what I wanted which was H08, which is the uh, Habia line actually goes through there. So I could go skip the Marinucci line, the M, and go right to that one I wanted. <clears throat> and now I'm down in a little restaurant, um, not far from the towers. And I'm about to have a pork um, rice bowl. Nice and neat and clean your rice. Here a lovely setting. And this is that uh, pink. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's a brine or a pickled something or other. And it's uh, got a pretty sharp brine taste to it. And then this is, I suspect, a good um, uh, pepper. And this should be soy sauce here in my... Um, Chopsticks are in here, as you can see, and toothpicks if you're that. This modern picture is St. Andrew's Church, or the Cathedral Church of St. Andrew, and perhaps next to it is St. Albans Church, if in fact that is a church. Yes, it is. 
Sunday, so it should be getting some activity. Oh. 